either Loy Macedo Sweeney you from LoyMacedo.com. Who's Loy Macedo and Think Personal Branding? The date is 28 June 2018. Time right now is 1.37 in the afternoon. Um, got this uh, comment from one guy. He was a very genuine person, sent me an email. And he says, why, why don't you focus on getting 1 million followers or 1 million subscribers? Why don't you do that? And he even suggested a, a very genuine guy. He even suggested a marketing campaign to push the subscriber base to 1 million or whatever. Now, you know, there is this, the problem is, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sharing my thoughts, okay? The, there is this belief that if you have 1 million followers or if you're famous, you have achieved success, okay? Now, if you are an Instagram model or if you are an influencer, having 1 million followers is okay. I understand that. Obviously, more the numbers, the better. Like if you have 10 million followers and all that. But as Facebook, Instagram's algorithm improved, people realized that they were bots. This 1 million followers and all that has lost its value. So you can have 10 million followers, but if you don't have engagement, remember, engagement is a key word, okay? If you don't have people putting comments, talking to each other, engaging with you, responding, sharing your stuff, but you have 1 million followers, it's pointless. So that's first thing what you need to understand, okay? So engagement, not the 10 million followers who just followed you but don't do anything, okay? The, the second thing is, what is your purpose or what is your uh, objective or your criteria? Now, in my case, I'm a personal branding strategist. People pay me $150 per hour for my services. Some people don't believe that. They say that is bullshit. The reason why they believe that is bullshit is because they don't need my service or they are not my customers or they don't believe. Whatever the case, it's like if, I, if someone tells me that there is this artist who paints a pot uh, he will take your pot that you have in your house, a uh, utensil, and paint it for $500, I'd say that is shit. Because I'm not an art lover. So in the same way, if someone says, who, would, who the fuck would pay this guy $150 US dollars an hour? It's because they don't need me. They're not my target market. But the people who do pay me, who do see value in what I say, what I do, they do pay me. And uh, you don't need to believe it. I don't care. Because you're not my customer, you're not my target market. So the people who believe me, they pay me. And that is just the basic minimum, $150 an hour. I charge everything, you know, anything from $10,000 for yearly coaching, $25,000 to $100,000. This in between, there's 50 also. So people who are serious about their personal brand, they pay me this kind of money. And that is how I've been sustaining and surviving. So. Let's assume if I had 1 million uh, followers. Now, so the second part is, the second part what I'm trying to tell you is, you need to identify who's your target market. Let's say, for example, you're an engineer. You don't need youngsters to follow you. Now, Jake Paul has maybe 10 million followers. Those 10 million followers are youngsters. They are not grown up, mature business leaders or people who work in the corporate world. They are not that. They are just kids, youngsters, who, who like all the pranks, the shouting, the screaming putting stuff on girls and tastering mice and so youngsters like this. However, if you talk of Harvard Business School, they do not have youngsters. They have people who value education. In the same way, if you look at people who follow, let's say, a yoga channel, those are people who are active in yoga. People who follow a marathon channel, they are the ones who follow, who practice running. So you need to identify who's your target market. That was the second point. The third one is, Let's assume I have a million followers and a wild one, a wild uh, hypothetical situation. Let's assume all one million people want to be my customers. The fact of the matter is I cannot handle it. In fact, I can only handle one customer a month. That's how my operations work. I can't handle more than one, one big customer a month. So that snowballs to 12 customers a year. If I had more than that, I wouldn't be able to work because when I work with my customer or my client, it takes like two or three hours of intense focus or research. So, you know, it's the numbers game don't apply. Okay, if you have a ebook that you're selling for $1 and you're targeting 1 million people to download the ebook, make 1 million, I understand that. 
So it's it's like you can either get uh, two hundred thousand. You can get one customer who pays each customer pays you one dollar, and you focus a thousand customers. You focus on one customer paying you a thousand, or two customers paying you five hundred each, or four customers paying you two fifty each. You can make the breakdown. So for me, uh, having one million followers doesn't do me any good. In fact, it increases my workload because the number of emails, number of responses, number of comments. I prefer a slow organic growth, and that is why I've not, uh, you know, paid any marketing advertiser or uh, company. I prefer a slow and steady organic growth, and I take only how much work I can handle. And most of the time, I, I like to enjoy, be free, play my games. Um, I've not reached a point where I just only want to work and make my millions. That's not life for me. Because if I were to die tomorrow, what will I do with the millions which will be rotting in the bank? My family will get to enjoy. I won't get to enjoy. So I also want to enjoy. So that's why I live each and every day to the fullest. Even though I have very few, very few followers, subscribers, the total of which, if I calculate my entire social media, is around half a million. Out of which, I would say, the active ones, maybe a thousand. And out of which the actual customers and clients are, uh, I would say, roughly, like I told you, one per month. So I hope this answers your question as to, uh, you know, one million followers. Why that shouldn't be your goal, your criteria, unless, of course, you want to be an influencer. And if you want to be an influencer, remember, getting one million followers is easy. Maintaining them is hard. And getting them to be engaging is impossible. So Loy from LoyMercedes.com, who's Loy Mercedes and Think Personal Branding. Let me know your views. Always read your comments down below. Always. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Don't like it, give it a thumbs down. This is me signing off for now. Take care.